Hi everybody, it's Kevin and Katie and check your calendar. It is Monday and uh, we are going live because uh, we just have some things that we want to share with you. Uh, Heather and the boys are off to Boy Scout camp except, or Boy Scout camp, Boy Scout meeting except for this one. He'll be helping us tonight um, and uh, we want you guys to help us uh, do a couple of things around the house and so we're going to show you kind of what we've been up to and give you a garden tour at the very end. Now um, one of the things that we're going to try to do tonight is repair an old garden hose that broke uh, or that is all mucked up and we'll show you more of those details. And then Katie's got a few alterations that she's made that she's going to share with you and how she did it and give you some of the nitty gritty on sewing information. Right? Right. Awesome. So uh, let's, hey Lone Star Living, how are you? Let's jump right in and let's get to work on this garden hose that uh, we need to take. And uh, my assistant Miles is going to grab the hose, bring it into the house, and I'm going to show you what's going on. So um, while he's doing that, uh, hey, hi. hi. hi um, while he's doing that, Katie is going to share with you uh, not, we'll show the whole thing in just a minute, but what are some of the sewing alterations that you've been working on? Well, the other day I was looking on Pinterest and I, I was going through all these things that you could take old clothes and make them into new types of new, new types of clothes. And so that got me a little bit inspired. So today I, uh, got my sewing machine out and got my cardboard thing out and my scissors and all my sewing stuff out and I did some alterations on either clothes that were too big for me or clothes that didn't fit me mm -hmm. so like were too small so I did some alterations on a couple of things and that you're I wearing one of the things that you all altered as well yes. so she took a this black shirt she had that she's wearing now was actually too short for you. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Well, uh, step back over there and we'll take a look at what you did. Check that out. So explain what you did. So I had this uh, flower uh, pattern fabric already. And uh, this black shirt, it was too short for me. And what I did is I cut the shirt and the sleeves in half, like around the same point so it looked even. But, and then I added this flower pattern. Where did you get the flower pattern from? I had it. Was I it had just it. another shirt or was it? it? I had it already. Okay. So it was fabric you already had. Yeah, it's fabric okay. I already had. Cool. And so I sewed the... Uh, this bottom of the, the shirt? The bottom of the shirt and the top of the shirt onto this... Uh, fabric. Yeah, that's the word. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you lengthen the sleeves too. If you guys look, this shirt originally came up to how high, Katie? The to, black shirt. To right. To so what she did is she just added fabric that's maybe what four or five inches, three inches maybe. Yeah. She added three inches worth of fabric down and made it long enough so that she's comfortable. Uh, in our house, we don't do mid drifts, and yeah. so this helps. Uh, this does more than just one thing. This helps Katie. Uh, take clothes that you were just going to throw this out or give it away to Goodwill, right? Yeah. And what does this do now? Well, now I can wear it still. It gives her, it gives it brand new life. Yeah. Yeah, and so this is and one way. Looks, and it looks better than it did before. Like. It really know. does. It's got a little character to it. A character to it. <laughs> <laughs> character to it. Yeah. Um, so there's a bunch of people on right now. Let me say hi to a bunch of people. I just saw. Wow, look at all this. Hi, Danny69. Hi, Maya. We don't have a computer up and going. Hi, Mom. Um, and uh, my revival. Sorry, I'm putting Maya my finger. Atkins. At What? Maya Atkins. Yep. 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 Hi, Carol Julian. Hi, Meemaw. How are you? I don't know if I saw PNC in Aiken Aikinson, but I definitely saw Lone Star. He was watching this. Yeah. So anyway, this is a one-way, a creative idea. Hi, that you guys can use to, um, uh, if you are if you know someone that sews, like Katie, you could take them a shirt and say, hey, listen, this doesn't fit anymore. She could add some fabric to it and create, uh, bring some new life to an old shirt. Yeah. And, and extend the length of the life. And now here's the thing. Um, we are a family of six. 
And so what Katie was frustrated by was she didn't want to just give up on a, a shirt that still had life left back in it. She wanted to do something creative to make it go a step further. And so she took a shirt she already had and she added to fabric and, and you know, did what you just did. Yeah. So it's a great way for you and uh, for our family to save on buying clothes because she's going to wear this a lot now. Um, and that, I mean, that shirts like that at the store can be expensive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. That's yeah. great. Do you have anything else that you wanted to show them? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right. Well, if you think of anything, bring it on in. Okay. But for now, we have to deal with this. This has been the bane of our existence. Okay, so what happened was we left this outside over winter time. And what happened is this fused to this. This metal fused to this metal and it's so rusted that not even WD-40 would get it off. Um, we, we, we wanna save the handle, but we are going to save the hose and we're going to change this hose and and uh, make it usable again because we we don't want to ruin a perfectly good hose so what we have is we have um a couple of things to show you we have this connector right here that we're going to use to make this a brand new hose and so there's a couple ways we got to do that katie if you would switch and run the camera for me um we're going to show you how to do this and we're going to start with uh heather's cutting board <laughs> Uh, she's going to hate that. Come on over here. Take a look down here. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to get this off. And we're going to try a couple of different ways that I'm not sure they'll work or not. So we're going to try, first of all, with the scissors, which, which may or may not uh, may or may not work. So we're going to, these are basically a wire cutters. We're just going to trim that old piece off. Oh, no, the hose is still on. Just kidding. There we go. We're just gonna take that off right like that. So now we can work on this. Um, I'll put it in a vice, uh, uh, a, um, de a desk vice or a bench vice, and we'll try to get that off. It'll be easier for us to get that off now. So uh, we'll just leave that off to the side. So now we have a ruined hose. Good job. Good job, Dad. Good job. All right, so I need you to follow me with the camera because uh, there's something we need to do with this before we can put the end in. Uh, this is this rubber is very uh, not bendy at all, so we need to make it more pliable so that this will fit down in it. But before we do that, we're going to slip this piece on right over the top like that. So we're going to we're basically putting this on to make to make it, and then we'll take it outside and see if it works. All right, so follow me over to the stove real quick because we've got something waiting for you over there. What I did was I put on a uh, pot of hot water. Heather says I don't know how to cook. I cooked some hot water. Good job. Good job. All right, so what I, the reason I did that is because, um, and honey, forgive me for using your pot to do this, but uh, I needed to make sure that this uh, loosened up a little bit. And if you heat this up and keep it in there for a little bit, it'll loosen, it'll uh, make the rubber more uh, flexible. So this goes in easier. So I don't know how many minutes we're supposed to keep it in there, but um, basically I boiled this hot water and then turned it down to uh, just to steam a little bit. And we're just gonna wait a few minutes while that gets um, while that gets a little bit softer. And the heat will help make it softer, so we can just shove that down in there. All right, cool. Looks like there's some great comments going on. I wish we I wish we had our <sighs> extra phone. We can't see all the comments. So anyway, that that is starting to get bendy. Look at it, Kate. It's starting to get a little bit more bendy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, can you grab me uh, the screwdriver? I'm gonna go ahead. Screwdriver? Uh, let's oh, move, actually no, let's move this camera over there back to the cutting board, okay? Okay, um, and I'm gonna I'll be, go to the cutting board now. I'll be right over. Um, it's good and it's good and soft, so. PNC uh, Atkinson says they want your glass. They want my what? Glass. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So we're here, it's nice and soft now. We're just gonna shove that right in. See how easy it goes in? Wow. Awesome. And then we're gonna tighten this down on the end of it with this there screwdriver. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I hope you can. So we're just gonna tighten that up. And then uh, I'm gonna ask Miles to go and hook it up uh, to the, go ahead and hook it up to the uh, faucet, but don't turn it on. And we'll take this outside and see if it works. But we gotta get this uh, 
tightened down. I'm gonna move it towards the, sorry. Can you make sure I'm on camera, Katie? I can't do both. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. All right, so we're just tightening that down the best we can, real nice and tight. Ah, yeah, that's good. That's good right there, okay? So we're gonna take this and see if it leaks. It might, so we're gonna, we might have to come back in and try again, but I wanted you guys to see this because it was something that uh, I've never done before and I wanted to see if it works. So let's go outside. Follow me. We're going outside. Oops. Eh, let's go. Very good picture of our door. Come on There's out. the outside world. Hi guys, I'm over here. So Miles is gonna turn on the water in just a second, but I wanted to show you the reason why we needed to do this. This hose in particular is not long enough to make it all the way out there. It kinda uh, binds up after a while. Sorry. No worries. And we couldn't get it to connect to, Sorry. we couldn't get it to connect to the uh, feeder that we use for our plants. And we'll show you the garden in just a second. So we're gonna take this and screw it into the end. Will you grab the end of the hose over there, Kate? Yeah. We need to untake it off the, it's uh, screwed onto the uh, house, so it might be a second. But that's an easy, quick fix. This was a couple of bucks. This was maybe three bucks at Home Depot. Um, hang tight, Miles. Um, at Home Depot and it went really simple really easy uh, sorry I, I got words no talky good thingy uh, <laughs> so Katie's gonna bring over the other end we're gonna see how they fit okay so this uh, hose is a cheapo hose it got about nine dollars at uh, Home Depot let's see how we it's do. alive no, just kidding it just screws right on like that I'm going to step back a little bit because I don't want to get the thing wet. Miles, Maybe go ahead and turn the water on. Be really appreciated if you don't. You might want to back it up a little bit. Grab the end of the thing there, Kate. The, ho the water is flowing and there's no leaks. Bring it, bring it over here so they can see. So that's the other end of the hose. No leaks, no leaks. Go ahead and take that back over there. <laughs> it's got a life of its own. Go ahead and turn it off, Miles. All right, so take it over there and uh, yeah. So look at that, the water's flowing. There's a little drip going on there, but that just saved us a ton of money. So not a ton of money, but a little savings, a couple, a couple bucks. It saved us from having, I can't talk tonight. It saved us from having to buy another hose. That's what she said. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, these, uh, these, that was just totally weird. So, that was. um, sorry. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's, yeah, I can't talk tonight. That hose, I don't have to buy a new one for. So we're done there. All right. So let's go back inside. Oh, nope. We're taking a tour of the garden. Tour of the garden. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna miss stuff, so Heather, I back up team right here, look. He's just reading. All right, cool. All right. So where are we starting first? Are we going out front or are we going over there? We're gonna start all the way in the back with the compost pile. Yay, right. I love to Miles, I need you, can you put your book away and come here? Cool. I have no clue. Um, so we're gonna go all the way back here, watch for dog food. As much as we do food patrol. All right. So we've got our comfrey going. This is awesome comfrey. You're in the way of the comfrey. I'm in the way of the comfrey. The comfrey is the right. The comfrey's right here. There. Um, you guys know the medicinal purposes of our comfrey, so you know that that's going well. Um, but we've got two different co compost piles. If you look, the, uh, this one is the older one right here. This one's older. Older. And this one's this one right here is newer. Hi, Goose Land tell because there's more stuff over here that's yeah. less by uh, broken down but that's this is the compost over here this compost right here is the compost that we're going to put out uh over winter time uh over our flower beds to make sure that it gets nice and turned up and stuff like yes. that let's move on uh this is a worm farm without any worms there are zero no worms, worms in our worm farm 
there are gnats and bugs, but uh, there's no worms. Are you sure? All of our worms got eaten by um, by uh, by uh, ants. Oh well, that stinks. Yep. So over here, we have either mom said it was either spaghetti. She said it was spaghetti squash, or the, there was a debate on whether it was watermelon or spaghetti squash. But we're pretty sure it's spaghetti squash. It could be watermelon. I don't think. It I don't is. think it is. If watermelon There's has a different type there. of leaf. Look at those huge leaves of comfrey, man. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And now, look at all the flowers on this. Look this that. is, there's our zucchini plant, which is somewhere in here, and our squash plant is somewhere in there. And yep. we got a squash plant from it recently, but we don't have one. Here. I don't think we have. Is that squash or zucchini? How can you tell? I don't know. I can't tell. Mom, Heather, Mom. squash or zucchini? Squash or zucchini? I don't know which, which one's one is which. It? Is this squash? Or is that zucchini? I don't know. All right. This is a sad piece. This is kind of depressing. It's like a graveyard of onions almost. It's, it is. It's a sad spot for onions. Basically. They all died. Basically, something has happened in here where it just did not, they could not thrive. And I'm not sure what the, what the situation was, but I'm sure Heather's going to come up with a new plan for next year for this flower bed so that we can have something that's <clears throat> growing and flourishing but the onions they just didn't do well very well here. i think what should actually be planted there is maybe some uh maybe some uh what is you know it how to get into herbs this thing? yes okay show us okay so. hold on a minute let me get ah i just fell in a hole careful there's a hole there. there's a hole there careful don't listen to me. so Miles, could you get on the other side of this please right there so eh. And that's how we get into it. Now check this out. Right here, see these little red guys? We're gonna get in real tight on them, okay? So get real tight on our, our there you go, huh, 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 huh? Real close, I hope you guys can see that. See those red blooms? Aren't those beautiful? Those are green beans that are climbing up the vine. And uh, we, we've got some green beans in there, don't we? Yeah, I think it, this place needs to be watered really well because the leaves are starting Is it to the soil out. dry? Huh? Uh, touch the soil. Is it dry? It's actually wet. No, it's, is, yeah, is it it's too dry. wet? It's dry. But here. Yeah. But we got green beans, see? Awesome. You got green beans coming. It's probably good time. This is probably good that we picked them today because we yep. I forgot about them. But yeah, we haven't. Oh, there's some more over here too, kid. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Way to go. There's Way to some go. over there. There's still more cooking too that there's need to grow. I'm sorry if I was blocking you guys, but look at that. Aren't those awesome looking green beans? Way to go, babe. You grew those. Way to go, babe. Awesome. Mm, there you go. Okay, thank you. Uh oh, I dropped it. Jeez, Dad. Yep, more green beans. Man, she's coming up with all these green beans. That one is eaten. Huh. Is that one savable, Mom? That's got a whole bunch of them in there. Here, I'll vote on that. Nah. I think that's it. Yeah, that. But we should probably water. Those should be one of the first things that we water. Because uh -huh. it looks. I don't know if the soil's oh. wet. Maybe it's getting too much water. I don't know. Because it, it, I know the leaves feel dry, but the rest of it isn't. Go ahead and put that back down, guys. Show them how they, we do that. This is called oh. green bean security. Yeah. Eh. Sorry, guys. Green bean security. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Now, um, we're going to head over here to show you uh, some other things. Miles, will you join us, please? Yes, sir. Come on over. Here, uh, let me watch oh. dog poop. I almost stepped in Let me give that, that to you so you can. Can you take those in the house, please? Thank you, bud. Come right My back. My camera-ing skills aren't very good today. All right, so we've got some renegade, um, uh, what are they called? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Thank you. Um, we don't have any. Well, there's a little one right there. Look, right there. If you guys can see, can you get close in there? See the little one right there. It's growing outside of our protected right layer, which yeah. I think our protected All of layer them needs are. to happen. If there's one that's like completely going renegade, there's one over there that we'll show Let's you. Let's show later. them that. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's nothing else on these. Yeah. There's a couple cucumbers on these. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not full-grown ones yet. Yeah, but mom has, I mean, there's a big one right there. Look at the big one in there. 
You see it? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to see. Hi, Mel Mindy. See right there? Oh, uh, there's a there's a, big a one. there's a big one right in there. A, you guys might not be able to see it because of the thing. Yeah. So let's get you in close, maybe. Cause that thing's huge now. Oops. Yeah, it is. It doesn't. There's one right here. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. See? Cool. There's a bunch of them in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. So we're definitely gonna have cucumbers. There's another little one back there. Yeah. Let's go, and it's let's kind go of this way like I take these. This pepper thing. plant will not be locked in. Look at this thing. It's the tallest pepper plant ever, and it's got one little pepper right on there. <laughs> and look at these big boys right here. I'm those pretty sure cool. those are jalapenos. Are they? Yes. A, I, hey, they are. They say yeah. jalapeno on the sign. So now, we'll we gotta go turn over in this side. Now, if you look, there's obviously. Those are uh, our. Hold on, I'm trying. Uh, those are our tommy toes. Tommy toes. That's what. Tommy toes. Tommy toes. They're yellow. See, see look right like that one right there. Yeah, you can't quite see it. Can can't you? quite see it, but it's right there. I don't know if we're supposed to pick that one yet, but. I don't pick it yet. Let mom. Oh, oh! <laughs> done. Dang it just it, fell Caitlin. off. Here, let me see if I can get it. Please get it. I don't want mom to yell. No, she, she won't yell at me. Well, she wants us to pick them early, so we there you go. squirrels won't get it. That's right. Here, why don't you hold that until Miles comes back. So, yeah, and that's... Uh, pepper, and the pepper we're going to show you... Hang on just a second. The pepper we're going to show you is green, but it's supposed to turn red, so we're waiting before we do anything with it, okay? So, there's our green peppers right here. Well, not green pepper. That's a green pepper. Yeah, that's a green pepper, and it's going to turn red. That's why Mom hasn't had us uh, do anything with it. But this tomato plant won't be contained. Yeah, we had to take it. We had to take the stuff off of it because it was growing out yeah, of control. Out of control. And there's not much. I mean, there's still tomatoes on this side, and more peppers on this side, and really? more peppers on this side. Look at that pepper right there. Uh, and then there's the little pepper. peppers right there. Grab the camera. Let's go to the front. Uh, to the other part of the thing here. Come on over, guys. Yeah. Sorry. So this is the uh, little garden that we put together. We wanted to show you guys this. Um, and uh, it's actually working out pretty good if you look. This is kale, all kale right here. And then over there. Achachas. Achachacha. Yep, and I'm then, trying to point where the camera can see. Achachas are along this fence line right over there and that then you can't see. Over there, that little plant right there. Where? Over it's, here? Yeah, that's cantaloupe, Mama said. Where? Right here? No. Or there. Right there. And, and then, of course. The broccoli. The lone broccoli plant. It's looking better than it did because it looked almost dead. Yeah, it looked pretty rough. And then over there, there's more kale. And. Oops. Our lone lily plant. And then there's a corn plant that's growing over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, hang on. I got a tripod issue. Tripod there issue. There we go. There we go. This is our <laughs> corn plant that we're... Why don't you go ahead and pull that? We're going to pull that because that's just uh, feeder corn. That's not real corn. Ta-da! Yep. And then Look at these black-eyed Susans, though. Black-eyed Susans, and that's our only daylily that really survived. Ooh, show it again. I didn't get it in the camera. This is our oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. It had flowers on it. They died. There's a ball right there. Is that our ball? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, that's a little bit of our of our garden. What's this? Is this kale? What's I that? I think that's kale. I think it's kale too. I'm I not sure. Like that's definitely kale. Look at that big beautiful kale. Yeah. I love it sauteed. Heather's really gotten me into having sauteed kale. Okay. And it is so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Over here we have our chocolate. Dog poop. Chocolate mint. Lemon balm. All right, so chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. It smells like chocolate. It smells like thin mints. Yeah, it smells like thin mints. We put it in an Asian mm. salad. It smells and pretty then good, when it actually. Sat, it kind of tasted like a little like chocolate. Yeah, I, uh, we probably won't do that again. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. The Asian chicken. Then, the Asian salad was delicious, but we probably won't put mint in it. Yeah. Again. It had zoodles. All right. And then this smells like lemons. Lemons. Lemon balm. Oh yeah! Wow, that's really that's really strong too. I wonder if you can make tea out of it. 
Maybe. So that way, like, we don't use, there's this ginormous plant, we don't use it. We only yeah. use, like, five leaves of it. Yeah, and then that is just a weed, right? Or a bush. That's a bush. A bush. And then there's something around here that's stinkweed, but I can't. It's through over there. Stink Gina weed. comes out and chews on it. Yeah, it's always fun. So, I have to watch where I'm walking because our dog is, uh, dastardly. Yes. So do you, you got that? Yeah. yeah. Let's head towards the front and do some stuff up front. Cool. Miles, that worked out really well. Thank you. It worked out really good. Thank you. Here's the tomato. Can you please? Can put you that put that down the counter? Mom will want to see that when she gets home. Um. So here in a second, we'll sit down at the table and we'll have a conversation about um, just about uh, what we what you've seen so far, and we'll be able to read some of your questions. Hold on. Gotta close the gate. That's all right, leave it open. We'll come back through there. There you go. What's with all these, oh, that's a, no. That in the yard, fried green tomato. Looks like it's gonna be the. That's not our green tomatoes though. No, but we could have, it looks like someone tried to bite into it. Look, it has teeth mark. It wasn't me. Protect, protect, protect. You have to protect your tomatoes. So, would you go put this in the compost pile, Miles? Thank you. Right this way. Now, speaking of tomatoes. Wow. We have these way. ginormous plants. I don't know if I'm getting them because I can't really see. Yeah, you, you're getting them. Just sit it right there for a second and we'll talk. So, the green tomatoes, which are these ones here. Hold on. Which are. I need to move that down there a little bit. These ones right here. We had some of those on our BLTs tonight. These are what? Uh, green tomatoes. How do you know when they're done? I don't know. Mom is usually, I think they're like softer. Yeah. Because w with a normal tomato, it's softer and the green ones are like really hard. Here, let me turn the camera around a little bit so we can have a little bit more. Um, you can see them better. Here, yeah. cut these tomatoes. They're green and striped. That's how we know that these ones are the green ones. Well, there's some ones over here turning red, which oh, are Oh, cool. those are the beefsteak ones. Yeah. Those are the biggest ones that we have, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, those those are bad boys. And then, and then these these right here, look right here. Yeah. I think those are actually our cherry tomatoes. Those are supposed to be smaller than that, but they're <laughs> yeah, huge. they're supposed to be like ping pong, not ping pong balls, size, but... But smaller than, yeah. Yeah. Look right there. Oh, my arm's in the way. You can't see it. Right there. 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 There you go. Awesome. So yeah, we're getting some good crop. Oh, See, check this out. Whole... Is that a kale plant? That's our. Uh, Somebody help us out. Plant? Is that a kale plant? That's a kale plant. That... And then this is our volunteer. Because I feel like I should be able to pick that leaf off right there and eat it. <laughs> Don't you think? Sure. <clears throat> if you want to. Here, videotape me oh, eating that, this. That has the dust on it. Oh, I better not eat you that. You better not eat that. So I'll wash have, this before I eat it. Here, take this into the house for me, will you? We have our volunteer kale plant, our volunteer tomato plant. Volunteer kale. Volunteer. We don't know what kind of tomato that is. Yeah. But then there's our parsley. It's dusted to keep the bugs off of it. Yes. I think that's diatomaceous earth. Uh, no, it's the uh, bug stuff. It's uh, a volunteer kale plant right there, Mom said. Um, we can pick off some more of those leaves, too, if we want to. Yeah. And then we have our basil rosemary thyme and then there's oregano over here gotcha well we'll never run out of time <laughs> ah, ah. so we have more tomatoes more tomatoes more green tomatoes well yeah those, those are, are normal tomatoes these, these are, are green basil. tomatoes and then there's more basil here basil tomatoes. some onions that aren't doing too shabby tomatoes yeah those onions aren't actually too bad although one got popped out there i'm yeah. not sure i'm not sure onions were our forte our Horseradish. Now check out that horseradish plant. And then there's an itty bitty one right there. And a little one right there. This one is ginormous. I'm... And over here's uh, sage, right? Sage. Both of those are sage. Uh, and then we have a random bush. Well, that, that bush turns uh, red when yeah, it's. It does. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's a really cool, cool color. <laughs> so, anyway, let's. Uh, that's it for the garden tour. Um, and uh, we wanted to show you some of our plants so you could see what's going on. Kate, will you pick off some of those kale uh, leaves? Get some of those with the holes on them, too. Those are like the biggest kale. They're, these are actually, 
It seems like these are actually doing better than the ones in the back. Yeah, they are. Probably because of the mulch thing that happened up here. Yep. Get that last one there. This one? Yeah, that one. All right, cool. Very cool. So, yeah, that it is... Like I'm holding a kale sandwich. I don't put it in your mouth, though. I'm not. All right, guys, we're going to go back into the kitchen where we can hang out and answer some of your questions and just chat for a while. We'll just talk for a little bit yeah, if you guys it. are up for that. Are you guys cool? All right, good. Come on. <laughs> I didn't give them much of a chance to answer, did I? One of the things that I love about my bride, even though uh, she can't be here to tell you herself, she would share with you that this uh, garden is uh, her pride and joy because she's killing it. Um, they're getting more sun, Mom says. Oops. Check out that guy. He's like, let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket. No. No. Here, do you want me to open the door for you? Yeah, we'll throw a skip. No, Keith. Oh, man. All right, we're coming back inside. We've gotten the hose done. We've gotten all that stuff done. So, um, now we're going to uh, get, uh, we're going to get set up. I'm going to have Katie set up the uh, camera on our uh, mini tripod so you guys can, we can hang out and talk for a second. Uh, um, but, uh, we'll, here, hang tight right here. I'm gonna show you one of the little things that I do, uh, and I enjoy it, I don't know why I do it, but I enjoy it. It's just one of those like Kevin things, you know? Um, can someone put all these tools away, please? Thank you. All right, so, um, I don't know about you, but I love salsa. And I'll even buy the homemade, or I'll even buy the uh, the stuff in the jar. And I get it pretty cheap at Aldi's. And I don't like it the way it comes in the jar. Ah. Um, I don't like big chunks of tomato. I've never been a fan of big chunks of tomato in my in my salsa. I know I'm weird. I know it's crazy, but it's true. It's just never been. It's just never been my thing. So I know there's not many of you watching right now. Uh, who uh, like store-bought salsa, but we buy store-bought salsa sometimes and we make a big deal out of it. That goes in the garage. And it's All because out. it's a great snack. It is a great snack, and it's not, it's not unhealthy either until you smother it with cheese, which we're not going to do tonight. So um, we need this. Katie, can you turn the camera around and videotape me yeah. as I do this? Do you, do you want me to go get your computer? No, not yet. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, awesome. Uh, All right. Uh, so, I uh, just grab one of these and put it on there like that. And um, again, this is this is my thing. I, I just like it. He like he doesn't it. like large chunks of tomato. I don't, and this has plenty of it. So I pour that in like that. And then here's the other thing. Do you need a spoon to get? That I'm spoon? going to show you here. Watch this. We're gonna take a little bit of water. What? Just a little bit. Put it in the salsa because you're gonna blend this up and it's gonna make it a little thicker. Shake that up a little bit. Uh huh. Get that all cleared out. This is this is why Heather's the good cook. I'm just I'm just saying. Pour that in there. It gets all that extra salsa out. Cool. Smart idea. Not bad. Not bad. Now we're gonna take this. Put it on here. And. It's hard doing this when I can't interact with the crowd. I'll be honest with you. Um, Danny69 says it looks like you're making tomato soup. It might be. I don't think I have that on very well. I don't think you have it on. At all, huh? Do you need my help? Maybe. Someone yeah, smarter you, than me. You don't, you, don't, the, the air is matched though, right? Yeah, hold on. I got that part right. Yeah. And then it just fits down like that, right? Right? Yeah. Did I get that? So you turn it on and it will tell you. So you press, I don't want to do it. No, press pulse. We're getting all the chunks out. Oh, it's, something came off. Oh, there it is. I don't want to blend it down into like a, a, some sort of like soup or anything, but I do want to get those big chunks out. That's just how I like salsa. I know, I know, I'm weird. So, um, what are you guys? Oops, wrong one. Again, we're out of spatulas. We're no, not. They're oh, all over there. All over here. Sure, they are. 
Uh, what questions do you guys have for us on this fine Monday? Katie, take a look at the screen and let me know if they Hi, have Hi, Alicia. Um, what did you think of our little hose repair thing? Nothing? Sift through some of the comments, Katie, and see if you can see any questions while I'm dish dishing this out. Can you see it okay? Uh-huh. All right. Mom says she's hoping to can salsa when her tomatoes are ripe. Yep. And this is just a prequel to it. So, this gives that salsa a little bit of Hi, a Kelly. It's just fun. And um, tonight my awesome wife made BLTs, but we need a snack. And yes. this is going to be our snack. So That sounds good. Yeah, that's uh, Alicia, we're... we us over to the table and set us up facing like we do on the live stream from mom and There's my time. hand. Alicia, we are making, um, uh, we're, ma we're blending up salsa, store-bought salsa, because my dad's picky about having large chunks of tomato in his salsa. So we, he just put it in the blender, food processor blender thingy. But also tell her about your other stuff that you made tonight. Oh, yeah. Earlier before the show, before mom and the boys made dinner, uh, hold on, sorry, I'm getting the thing screwed on. Uh, I did a uh, alteration to some of the clothes that I had because I like I'm that kind of person where it will fit me in certain areas and but then it'll be like too short or something and so that's what happened with this shirt and well I did that to it Ta -da. so and I've done that with a couple of other things but they're not quite as good as this one All right, here we are. Hi there. Sweet. So we've got chips. Chips. We've got salsa. And we have friends. Monday night, here we are. Check. Oh. It's food and Messing friends. it all up. On Monday. On Monday. So, uh, how are you guys doing? Um, oh, man, I'm just not having any luck with this thing. I want it to be level. Okay. Mm. Your mom usually takes care of this part. There we go. Miles needs to wipe off the stove. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Chips and salsa and friends, LOL, I'll be right over. So, all right, there we go. Did you just stick it in there? They're, they're scoops for a reason. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to scoop up salsa, not dip. They're so good. Um, Man, I love chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. Guys, thanks for joining us tonight. And checking out what we're doing. Um, so we fixed a hose. We put a new end of a hose on. Mm -hmm. We um, saw how you can make alterations to clothing when it when you outgrow it. And then we took a garden tour so you could see all the different tomatoes. I mean, it's more of a tomato garden. Yeah. I mean, we have other things, but wow, what tomato? That's just tomatoes. incredible. We have um, a question. Yes. Mom is at, t took the boys to Boy Scouts tonight. So they're at Boy Scouts right now. And, and she's hanging out watching this. She's hanging this. out and watching this. So yeah. you'll see her on the live stream, but she's not here. She's not here. It's just Katie, Miles, and I. And Miles is, he's really reading. He's de mm -hmm. hes in depth, man. hes He is on the ball. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, And he's going to... uh go to the other room apparently because he doesn't like the fact that I was reading watching him read. Oh it could be a little creepy. It can be. So yeah, that's our Monday. Um Monday is always an interesting part of the week for me because sitting in the car she's sitting in the car watching us. Um Monday's always an interesting uh, day of the week for us because we're evaluating hey what are our goals for the week? What do we want to get accomplished? What are we gonna do for our show? Monday's one of those days where you can either take it as a bad day or a good day. I like it because it's the beginning of a new week and there's nothing that we can't do. There's a ton of things that we get to accomplish on a Monday and uh, mon this particular Monday, um, we've had a chance to uh, uh, show you guys around. Lemon Look up Lemon has, Balm. Lemon Balm has healing purposes and yeah. you can make it into tea. But what else? Let's see. Um, How's the new job going, Kevin? Been praying for you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. The new job is going well, but I'm working nights a lot. 
and uh, we are in the process of kind of transitioning out of the other job and into this job and so out of the old and into the new there's a little bit of uh, back and forth on that a little bit so it, it's a little tiring but I think it's going pretty well I'm enjoying it a lot and Danny 69 says it's motive um, motivational Monday yes absolutely this is the Mondays can be so unmotivational sometimes especially well, yeah. for me who I wish sorry where I kind of wish that there wasn't weekdays actually no. I'd rather sleep than do work <laughs> <laughs> spoken as a true teenager yep yeah so um the uh, the best part of the week is actually uh, that moment where you realize you accomplished the goals that you set on Monday. So be mm -hmm. wise today, the goals that you set for yourself. Um, we have a few goals for our family every Monday, and they're not major goals. It's just to stay on track. So when does homeschool start back? August 13th. We've been doing our, uh, not prerequisites, what's the lineup thingy? I, it's... We did a live stream about it. Agenda. Agenda. Oh, a scope and sequence. So, uh, scope and sequence. We did one of those. <laughs> and I've done one of those in a separate notebook for mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that in my binder because, like, I need... Yeah, mom was really busy today. Yeah, she was. Like, it might not have looked like it, but she definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it. She took you guys to the library. Mm-hmm. She got all of the stuff for homeschooling here. Hang on, let's see. Um, yeah, she's getting all the stuff together for a homeschool planners, and that's a that's a that's a chore in itself. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's funny because we have this uh, we have people in our lives that think that homeschooling is just sitting around in our PJs and getting <laughs> up when we feel like it, and you don't have to do any work. And that's just not true. The kids yeah. work their tails off. Um, so, did you guys get all the scope and sequence done or still working on it? Yeah. Um, so, we set up a format which Heather was able to use for few, for other um, scope and sequences she found online. So, the template that we kind of created on the whiteboard, she's applying to the ones that she found in our homeschool, uh, our homeschool uh, uh, curriculum. God, that mosquitoes bit chewed on my legs bad um have been to downtown library yes okay wow they're going fast katie are you allowed to do school in your pjs mm. you're not technically allowed to but i i uh <laughs> this is a tough I, question for her <laughs> i wear like Sweatpants to bed, so that way when I get up Miles, in the morning, did you want some chips and salsa, it looks man? halfway decent, so that way... Come on. Yeah, I don't really follow that rule every time, but I do spend my days mostly out of my pajamas, unless I feel really, really lazy. Sit down with us and have some chips and salsa, buddy. Awesome. So, yeah, we don't typically... Yeah, uh, but... Yeah. I'm not allowed to do that every day, but it's just when... Mom. Quick question from your uh, mama, Kate, LOL. Katie. <laughs> Trick question, yes. That's funny. Why not in school, but at Walmart? No clue. I don't know why people go to put their pajamas in Walmart. Yeah, I don't know about at that. Least. Trick question. I thought it said quick question. My uh -uh. bad. Okay. So, um... We try to have a routine for the day in the morning. It's get up, get dressed, eat your breakfast, and get started with your school. Mm -hmm. That's typically the uh, the routine we try to stick to. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. It doesn't always pan out that way. Because sometimes you got to have a Jonah day. Um, I also think that there are, there are times when, as homeschool parents... Um, uh, we have to look at it and go, okay, we need to be flexible with this because there is, um, I know the new Kettering library is going to look awesome. That thing's going to be cool. There's one being built right down the road, uh, here in Belmont as well. So I'm so we're excited pretty jazzed for it. about that. Um, but as parents, we have to look at it and go, Hey, maybe today, um, 
this particular day, we need to cut the kids a break and give them a little bit of extra grace and uh, give them time to get their schoolwork done and not just bombard them with a ton of rules and regulations. Um, but <clears throat> I think we do a good job of picking our battles on that. I know Heather does a, an amazing job of looking at it and going, no, nope, you gotta press forward through this or uh, let's, let's take a step back and, and have maybe a, 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 just a, a day to play. We don't do that very often. Our library has daily activities for the kids they are free. Does your library um, have the same? I don't know. Are you talking like those, uh, I forget what they're called. But like you, reading, reading, uh, uh, there's a couple different activities they have. Yeah, they have a couple different activities. Book clubs, book clubs maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I can't Chips find the word salt? for it, but it's like you have to read a certain type of book for this certain amount of time. And then you like check it off on a graph that you have or something. I don't know. I. <laughs> I Green chips and salsa. Bath bombs making. Oh no, they don't have that kind of stuff. They don't do crafts as much like that. Yeah. Um, although there's I'm other places that do. Um, I just, I'm not sure where those places are because I'm a guy. Do you guys like hummus yes well he doesn't but me One and the more. boys hummus. me and the boys and mom do there's this one that they have at aldi's and it comes in like a platter thingy and it tastes like guacamole it's like jalapeno and cilantro it's really good well and we could make our own hummus we just haven't kevin are those gluten-free trips no they're not no they're not I know I haven't been doing a very good job okay. with that, but this is one of the number one snacks in the house. This is the most coveted thing. Mm -hmm. Garlic hummus from all these. Oh, that's the bomb. Mm -hmm. Garlic hummus anyway. Now they have a black bean hummus is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Heather uh, Heather's sister in law has a hummus recipe that is off the charts apparently. So that is super delicious. I mean, you know, what do you do to bean curd to make it more interesting? I don't know, but. Add garlic. Add garlic, that's <laughs> right. Add garlic to it. So, anyway, guys, that's uh, what. Oh, have a treat once in a while, right? Yeah, you gotta have a treat. Kevin, do you work in Kettering? If so, can you get Kettering discount for. Uh, Kettering Rex stuff? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I think so. Wait. Um,. I think they are gluten free, even better. Yay! Yay! I'll have more in just a minute. Nah. Um, yeah, the uh, we have uh, we have not checked that out. I don't know the answer to that. Um, it's such a new thing. We're still transitioning that we haven't even looked into it, so I'm not sure. Um, we do have a uh, we do have a a place to swim nearby here, uh, Laurel Laurel Lowry's Community Center. Um, and so, uh, that's, uh, you know, um, that's, you know, that's a potential, but as far as catering for the summer, I mean, that catering rec center is the, is, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, the kids aren't as little as they were. And so it's less interesting to them maybe on that level, but there's a lot to do over there that they could get involved in. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to check that out and see if, since I work there now, I can get involved. Let's see. Ever top baked potatoes with salsa? Oh yeah. yeah. Listen, this salsa isn't just for tips. We'll be using it on eggs. We'll be using it on potatoes. We'll be using it on, sa I actually prefer salsa as a salad dressing instead of that creamy stuff. Um, because I, the ranch, I'm not a, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from the creams, right? So ranch dressing, blue cheese dressing, even sour cream. And they have this fat-free sour cream that's like zero calories. It's ridiculous. It's like eating yogurt or something. Um, Which we have the yogurt in there, so. That's right. Might as well just eat yogurt. But it tastes different. It tastes like sour cream. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why I went for it. But um, All right, I just wanted to give you the heads up. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. And ice skating is coming. Yeah. Um. 
the um the I lost my train of thought, thought somewhere between the Choo -choo. Kettering Rec Center and hummus. And sour cream. And sour cream. That's right. But <clears throat> anyway, keep asking questions, guys, because we are sour cream reminds me of the crickets from the <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, salsa as a burger topping. That's genius. Oh my gosh. It said garlic hummus as a burger topping. Oh, I thought salsa. Well, you could do salsa. I could do salsa. I, don't, I might just do salsa as a burger There's topping. There's a restaurant near us that puts peanut butter on mm. their hamburgers. No, I I can't do it. The boys and you want my camera. The boys and dad can do it, You're but good. I'm just like peanut butter stays with. Uh, well, here's the thing. Jelly. It adds a unique flavor to it. You've got peanut butter, but then on top of the peanut butter, you add purple onion, red onion, and then you add a, uh, a green jalapeno jelly. Okay, you gotta move over there, left-handed guy. You keep bumping the camera. <laughs> left-handed guy. Move over there. Yep, there you go. There you go. And so, um, when you eat all of those flavors together, that is an amazing dish. Uh, a burger with uh, per red onion, uh, peanut butter, and jalapeno jelly. It's amazing. The jalapeno jelly has a lot of different uses. So you take a block of cream cheese and you let it come to room temperature. That's actually And good. then you pour that green jelly over that. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? Archer's Tavern. And they have some really good, like, wings there, too. Mm -hmm. Archer Tavern's a great restaurant. So if you're ever in the, what, Kettering area? Centerville Kettering. Centerville Ke Kettering. They have one in Kettering and one in Centerville. Go there, because it's, really, it's a really good place. Um, peanut butter on a burger. Yep, that's what we think of here. Salsa over cream cheese is delicious as well. Yes, I it can see is. That. Beth, that's genius. Well, yeah, of course, in nachos, either. sure. Mm -hmm. I can't do the peanut butter either. I'm with you there, Kate. Yep. Yep. P peanut butter and meat does not go together. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you say it like that, it sounds disgusting. But when you say sticky burger, it's like, ooh, what's that? Well, that's, Heather uh, just brought, your mom brought up a good point that um, her dad used to eat a, a, a hamburger, a cheeseburger with a raw egg on top of it. Uh, over easy egg, not raw oh. egg. Over easy egg. Um, it was so good. I just didn't. I I don't like combining my eggs in my hamburgers, so I get it. Um, try an over easy egg on a bit yummy. Wow, that sounds good. Egg. Egg on a burger. Ah. There's a there's a couple people out there who are saying that they like eggs on their burgers. How I like my eggs is in some form of dessert. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of eggs just by themselves or in a casserole or something. You I, know how she likes scrambled eggs? Here's how she likes them. She likes them on my plate where I'm eating them and not her. Yeah. That's where she likes I like mine. I like my eggs in cake form. Uh, <laughs> or cookie form. Cookie Do form, you know. Egg? Do Anything? eggs go in cookies? I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, eggs go in cookies. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I want to show you something. That. We just killed that whole bowl. Nope, that's not yours. We ate that almost an entire bowl without dad. That stuff was good. Yeah. There's a um, sam grilled cheese sandwich that I want to try. Like, uh, it's got tomatoes, which I'm probably gonna use the ones from our garden. Mm -hmm. It's got mozzarella, mm. and it's either got. Yeah, it's got basil on it, and you just like, uh... We have all of bread. those things. Yeah, and bread, of course. We have all of those things. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be even better if you had your mom's homemade bread? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you make this in a pan. And I've, I wanted to try it because it looks really good. Mm. And... Mm. I don't know. I just like stuff that has to do with mozzarella, tomatoes, and basil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This pizza, just like them in a salad. We had a caprese salad once that was good. Might as well put that in the fridge for and me. And then there's like caprese pasta salad, which is also really good. 
No, wait, I missed that. Hamburger slaw, shredded lettuce, mayo, chopped pickles, onion, salt, pepper, and mix it together and put it on top of a burger mm. or a mat seed. It, that sounds, that kind of sounds like how you put uh, coleslaw on a... Um, or on your rosemary bread. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, you know that... Uh, this just got real, folks. The cheese-filled bread that I made, uh, I, I did a video about it. And yes. It had basil yes. and cheese. Yes. It was good. Whoa. Imagine that. Boom. On that bread. <laughs> so. That sounds pretty stinking awesome. I see that coming in the future. Yeah, I'll that's probably going to be a video. That could be a whole like restaurant menu item. Yeah, it's okay. fancy. <laughs> Your mom's like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> She's, I can see your mom doing that right now, and wherever she's watching, just going, yes. Yes. Cool. Uh, pepper jam and cream cheese mixed on crackers. Yeah. Ritz, Ritz crackers. Love that. Katie is getting passionate. Love it. Mm hmm I get really passionate about food. I love food. She does. <laughs> mm. Good food. Good food. She gets passionate about good food. If I say something to the um, oatmeal. Nothing. I like oatmeal in dried form as granola Ooh. or on top of apple crisp, which isn't really granola. It's just butter, oats, and brown sugar. Pepper jam is kind of a sweet spicy. So when you when you try jalapeno uh, jelly, which is what I call it. I don't know if that's its, it's real probably name. probably like... Um, there's apricot uh, jalapeno jelly. There's peach. Uh, jal there's raspberry there's all different kinds of flavors. You go to the uh, go to the aisle at Kroger, and the, it's all there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's just Kroger, but wherever your grocery, where, stop by your grocer's freezer. Stop by your local no. grocery store. There you go. And look for it. But um, it's like it, it's got a sweet taste, but it's also got a little bit of a kick. So it's like a sweet and spicy, and mm -hmm. so it, it just. Um, it's a giant oatmeal cookie on top of an apple crisp. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes, that's how yeah, we make it. the way our... that my grandma makes it, which is the best. Like, arguably the best. The best. Yes, she's getting Apple passionate. crisp recipe ever. Mm -hmm. And she, like, doubles the crisp, and it's like a cookie on top, and then it's like the actual apples on the bottom. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm a passionate about food. My clothes are proof of that. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's move <laughs> on. Um, yeah. So, uh, what's some other foods that you're not passionate about that you can get passionate about? Let me think of them. Um, we already covered eggs, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, um, you get pretty bored with. Um, I'm not a huge fan of hot dogs, bologna. Like, I'm not. Bologna and hot dogs. She's out. Any, yeah. She's done. But if we have chili dogs, what happens? I skip the hot dog part and make a phony coney. <laughs> a phony coney. <laughs> what does a phony coney have on it? It's the hot dog bun. It's the chili, then the cheese and the onions and whatever you put on it. Yeah, we have not made an apple crisp video. <clears throat> no, we haven't. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, I'm looking at your mom right now. Oh, well, I don't know if she's <clears throat> had permission <clears throat> to do that because that's Meemaw's recipe. Oh, she can, you can shift it so me all be no, protected. No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> we have to ask me all first, okay. dang it. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. so phony coney, we got that. Yeah. All right, cool. Have you ever had chow chow made mm. from the end of, end of season great tomatoes? I don't know what that is. I think it's supposed season to be. Season green tomatoes. I don't, know. I don't know what chow chow is. I've never had it, Judy. That sounds interesting. Talk to us. Tell us what that is. Have Meemaw do it with you, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Meemaw's camera shy, so she doesn't get out there front very often, but maybe we can talk her into an Apple Crisp uh, video. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see. Um, the uh, the other, other food that you're not excited about, anything that's kind of like liquid meat, you're not excited about, like, you had a anything really- Anything that comes in a can and is labeled spam, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like- Miles, will you let the dog no. out, please? Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I I don't do liquid meat stuff. Well, a, a canned canned meat in itself is a unique flavor, and it's it's really for those. Uh, it, it's 
It's for certain people, and well, I'm it's not back part in of the, it. It was created back in the day so that you could store it for long periods of time because of the depression and because of, you know, it, it, it just kept for a long time. Yeah, and Mom's meatloaf recipe, guys, is the, oh. like a giant meatball, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, yeah, they could totally rock yeah. the apple crisp. Yeah. Yep, that's Meemaw talking, that's too. That's Meemaw, so we might be doing a video with Meemaw. It tastes like the can. Yeah, it does. The uh. meat tastes like the can. It's not fun. But if you're in a pinch and you need a ham, I well, would do it. The can the canned meat that I can deal with is uh, corned beef hash. Let's talk about the meatballs, though. Mm. Before we go to the corned beef hash. The meatballs... Heather's meatloaf is basically her meatball recipe. Yeah, it's just a And giant. so you might as well just eat the meatballs because then you get spaghetti and tomato sauce with it. Yeah. See what I'm Hi, saying? Rosalie. <clears throat> and so uh, that in itself is, oh. Hi, Amy T. Amazing. Have we done a meatball recipe? I don't know if we've done a meatball recipe. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> you were mentioning corned beef hash. Now, uh, we learned a little recipe from Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it He took, learned it from Boy Scouts. Yeah. And it took canned corned beef to a whole new level. Yeah, corned beef. Because I was not a fan of just canned corned beef. Mm -hmm. Sausage. Still am not. Bacon. Uh, there's probably a lot more meat in it, but all it's, kinds of meat. This is not for that recipe is not for the person who's supposed to be avoiding meat. It's not a vegetarian meal. Meal. Okay, so Beth is cooking crockpot pork car carnitas tonight. Oh, that sounds that good. sounds good. That sounds awesome. Uh, Y'all are making me want dessert. <laughs> sure. Yes, Jack's recipe does rock, and you can find that on one of our uh, You Lost Me at Bacon, yuck. Oh, Rosalie, you don't have to put bacon in it? Um, yeah. you can, you can add, you can skip whatever. That's the beauty of some of the recipes that Heather does is if there's a ingredient in it that you don't like, you can just move on. It's all Unless right. Unless you're baking a cake and you need baking powder, but you yeah. kind of, well, that's you don't different. Like, yeah. <laughs> but if you're doing one of these combo things, you know, you had baked fish and roasted corn for dinner. Oh, Dang, nice. That sounds pretty fancy. It does. Do you like baked fish? I'm not a fish person. I'm not a fish person either. <laughs> but I like corn. I do like corn. <laughs> and you know what? I, Beth, bacon is life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, yeah, we had bacon, uh, ba BLTs tonight. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Homemade mayonnaise, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Heather yeah. put a little twist in it too because we didn't have we normal yellow it. mustard. And so she added the spicy mustard to the mayonnaise. Oh. Um. I like seafood, see good, and eat it. LOL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it. All right, so um, <laughs> what other food do we not like that we turn into something we do like? Well, you didn't like kale. Mm, kale, yeah, that was an interesting. But see, that was the prompting of a, a amazing teenager that you can find over at Living Like Claire. Because Claire, who is an amazing teenager, and yeah. you need to check her channel you out, Living Like Claire, um, C-L-A-R-E, um, she kept telling me that kale was the bomb, and I did not, I blew her off, I didn't listen to her. Finally, I ate some, and I have been hooked ever since. I'll just go eat it raw, off the plant, unless it's dusted, and then I have to go then wash it. Then you have it. to wash it. But uh, then I'll do, uh, I'll do, um, uh, Heather did this thing. I challenge you, Kevin, to try collard greens. You know what, Danny69, I will try collard greens, but I'm going to try them fresh, so we're going to have to grow our own. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to grow collard greens. So. I bet Mom will know. Uh, maybe we can pick some up at the grocery store that aren't too bad. Yeah. I don't know what collard greens are, though. Uh, um, but they got to be sautéed a certain way because the kale, when she sautés this kale, it's got this crunch. It's amazing how it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not like spinach. I don't like I spinach, spinach out of the can. Spinach fresh. Why would you eat spinach out of can? Spinach fresh and then like. Well, it's kind of what you we cook grew it up down. On. Ooh, collard greens and bacon grease with onions. That sounds good. That's like. All right, Danny sixty nine. I'll take you on. Heather, make a note. We need to try collard greens fried in bacon. Grease. Oh yeah, grease and onions. All right. What's that last comment there say? 
I try fry kale in the pan and it gets a bit of the crunch and it's wonderful on top. Oh yeah, Popeye does, Popeye does Katie right out of the can. Well, this, oh yeah, no. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't like mm. insult it too much because I haven't had it out of the can. It's awful. But I like I'll it fresh. I'll insult it. I don't like it. I like it fresh. Like, Only Popeye like, eats spinach out of the can. Yep. <laughs> Keep the bacon. Yeah, <laughs> Shaitan. Shaitan, how are you? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I'll tell you, uh, growing up, uh, we didn't eat, we didn't eat, uh, too many fresh vegetables. Um, we, d we did eat some though. I can't say we didn't eat any, but when we were in a hurry, we had to grab the stuff on the shelf and that was typically the canned stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's something we grew up on because, um, uh, my side of the family, a uh, single mom, had to make dinner quick um and it had to be the kids cooking it so it had to be simple um and so uh we typically just opened it up out of the can and just went for it we didn't yeah. know how to cook things and so we just kept it simple one thing that's really good canned is hominy i love hominy oh yeah oh my oh no <laughs> i hate hominy oh no Shh. one thing that we probably wouldn't like <laughs> outside of that we could like it also is uh, asparagus and Brussels sprouts. I I haven't really had asparagus raw before, but my mom and grandmother cook it, and I know the recipe too, where it's just really good. Same thing with Brussels sprouts. I do not like Brussels sprout salad, but he does. Mm. Brussels sprout like, salad is unique. But you do not like Brussels sprouts. I, you don't I, like Brussels sprouts. I don't like them cook. I don't like any vegetable cooked till it's mushy. I don't, if you, if you're going to cook a vegetable and you, and Goose is Landing, uh, I'll answer that question in just a second. I did see it. If you're going to, if you're going to cook a vegetable down to mush, you're cooking it wrong, in my opinion, because you're cooking out all of the nutrients out of it. You're cook, you're, even if you steam it to the point where it's steamed mushy, you're, all of those nutrients to, to in the, in the kale, in the spinach, in the broccoli, in the cauliflower, all of that's going to your steamed water. If you cook it, just kind of blanch it, just kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, just so it pops when it goes in your mouth, peppers, onions, any of that. It still has some of the good stuff in there. It's not just like, blah, you know? Yeah, it's not just mush. Exactly. What's up, Tim? Um, what was uh, that one person? Okay, was? so Goose's Landing asked me, what is my favorite dinner that I make? And I'll be honest with you, it's been a long time since I've had to make you've, dinner. You've you've made a couple good dinners. I made a few bad ones too. They call it Daddy's surprise, mm -hmm. and it makes everyone pretty sad in the house. Mm -hmm. If you if you hear the word Daddy's surprise, run. And you're in the going batty house, you're gonna want to take Katie's advice and run. It's not gonna end. Or well. you help them because I've helped him with a couple of them. And those have been... <laughs> Look at mom's comments. Daddy's <laughs> surprise. There's a lot of vomiting. There's a lot yeah. of issues there. Yeah. Yeah. So. But Daddy's surprise has not always turned out bad. And there are some dishes that I like to cook. So here's some of the few. I like smothered chicken. You've made smothered chicken? By I've made yourself? smothered chicken by myself before. I've also made... Um, I've also made uh, um, an omelet. I can make a pretty wicked omelet. I, believe, I, I do I'll a pretty good job. You You've seen the omelets that yeah, I made. And even though good. you don't like to eat them, you can testify for they them. They look good. They smell good. Don't know if they taste good, but I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> um, they, uh, I've made, uh, I make a pretty good steak. I cook a mean hamburger. Yeah, you do. I don't do too bad with taco night. Oh, no, no, you don't do too bad. I mean, I've done worse. Um, what are some other things? Uh, you made Big Daddy Nachos, and those were good. Big Daddy Nachos she, is always that, which, yeah. Then, what is the most interesting thing Kevin has eaten? What is the most... Do you really want to know? All right, I'll tell you. A goldfish. A live <laughs> goldfish. Why do you eat a live goldfish? Did you use the best? I was young and stupid. I did not use the best <laughs> no. I found out about that the other day. <laughs> I'm uh, just like... Ew. Yeah, no, I I had uh, I was in my uh, it was in my um, younger years. I was in my twenties, okay. and we were doing a youth group event. What? 
and uh, we were giving away we were giving away goldfish, and parents hate it when you give their kid a goldfish because what happens? You take the thing home, and then you have to try to keep it alive, or it breaks the heart of your child. And then you and I both know that that thing's going to get flushed because it's not going to last within a day. <laughs> oh, well, they just asked another question. Hold on. As an adult, what's the most interesting thing that I've eaten as an adult? A goldfish. You're, tw you're 20. You're old enough to know that you're not supposed <laughs> to be eating a goldfish. I didn't chew it. So did you actually eat it, like swallow it, or did you just I swallowed it, it whole. Ew! Do you, I do like to barbecue on the grill. Thank you for asking, Amy T. I'm not, I'm not a great barbecuer, but I'm decent. Um, I used to make, um, I used to make a, uh, a awesome, uh, pork, uh, pork center cut. Um, it was a pork chop and it would be kind of marinated in a wine sauce. That was pretty decent. I liked it. Heather hated it. Um, it was kind of that thing, but the most interesting thing that I've eaten, I, I think it was recently, actually, I've re I've eaten some things recently that I don't usually eat. Um, and it's because of our Texas trip yeah. and we were with family and I didn't want to embarrass myself. Uh, but I'm forgetting what it is all of a sudden. I, I know, you know, I, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big fish guy, but I've eaten octopus. I've eaten shark. Have you eaten those like French snail dish? Oh, bah, escargot. No, I've smelled it though. And that was enough to keep me away from it. I think the weirdest thing that I've eaten mm -mm. was probably... It's actually, I haven't had a whole lot of fish or, I haven't eaten the goldfish. I'm not. Judy's husband ate snake and bugs. Hmm. I, I, I might have eaten a bug at some point. I probably wouldn't remember it, but I'd probably eat one. <laughs> yeah, well, it's when I'm asleep. I'm probably, and they crawl in. Uh, yeah. Everybody's sleeping with their I mouth think closed tonight. the weirdest thing, though, has to be. That was funny, Alicia. I caught that. Strawberries and ketchup. Cause yeah, that's weird. <laughs> it was a weird... Jack went through this... That's no, the weird. Not just Jack. The boys went through this weird phase where they ate fruits with this different sauce. We had grapes and... Uh, Amy T. said that she's had some uh, uh, different animals in South Africa. I bet you have. Uh, Heather's eaten gator. There she's, you go. She's She's out. <laughs> she's outdone all of us. She's outdone all of us. That's right. Um, I ha I've had rabbit. I've had snake. I've had. Uh, I've not had squirrel brains. What? Um, uh, bear, shark, no, no, stingray, alligator. Did she catch it? Probably. Knowing my wife, she went out there and jumped on it and stabbed it in the back of the head. Uh, swallowing the whole good, good goldfish, goldfish rat, rat, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> All the way down. See, you guys have all these like cool meats that you've tried. I'm just like, I had grapes and ranch once. <laughs> One of the dumbest terrible. things I ever ate was a raw egg. I did it Why? in front of people too. Why? Well, How? I was in this skit with a buddy of mine and we were in high school and we were playing Hans and Franz. Oh. And you know how that goes, right? Yeah. So in the skit, they drink raw eggs. So in our skit, we drank raw eggs. And so I'm like, hello, I am Franz. And I'm Hans. And welcome to our show, because I'm huge, and you're puny, and we're here to and pump you up. up. And then uh, we just went clunk, clunk and downed it. So um, it Let was gross, and it made me want to gag. Okay. It, um, Mom says gator tastes like chicken. I bet it does. My brother eats squirrel, barbecue squirrel. All right. Well, I'm, Good job, I'm not opposed to it. Um, I've seen a couple of different recipes, and I, I, hey, I've watched Duck Commander. I watched the, uh, you know. Danny69 has had squirrel, rabbit, wild boar, uh, turtle, and deer. Oh my goodness. I've had deer. I love deer. Um, crocodile or emu yet. Kangaroo is okay, but I don't like it much. You've had kangaroo? What does kangaroo taste like? Anything mm. you can even remotely. I We we uh, we call raccoon hillbilly chicken. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Um, is he related to the Robertsons? Okay, that's funny right there. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, those are some of the foods that we've kind of gone out there and eaten. But, um, I mean, as far as, like, everyday cooking, um, I, you know, I like simple food. I don't need to get too complicated with it. Yeah. You know? Um, I don't, I don't really have, I don't really have any, I don't have to cook a whole lot. 
my wife, if I step into the kitchen, everybody's kind of like, oh, whoa, what are you doing? Get out of here. And so I, I try not to, you know. Oh. I don't think I could do a very good job making some of the recipes that Heather makes because she's got experience I don't have. Well, yeah. If you, you know got what I mean? in the kitchen more often, I'm pretty sure you could cook something pretty well. Well, I used to be, awesome. for those of you who don't know, I used to be a restaurant manager and I used to cook a lot. Matter of fact, I was even a kitchen manager for a little while. Um, and so I did, um, I do like venison. Thank you for asking. Yes. Um, I did a little bit of a, a uh, time as a cook and I really enjoyed it. I mean, we made all kinds of stuff. We made uh, buffalo wings and, and I love, I love a good buffalo wing. I'll be yeah. honest with you. Um, Ar and Archer's has some really good ones. Though. It's like just, just you have the sauce all over your face. It makes, um, your, it makes your face numb. A little blue cheese. Oh yeah, it, it, I really, I really like it. I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, but we made all kinds of things. We made salmon. We made different kinds of hamburgers with all different kinds of toppings. Oh, we've had bison. We had bison. It's very lean. We've had bison. bison? Is very lean. Yeah. Okay. We. I had it over in uh, Maryland. Do, I, I, you might have tried it. I, I might remember. have tried it, but I remember having venison. Did we have venison at the Texas? At Texas? Venison. Yes. yes, yes, we did. Yes. Okay, then yes, I've had venison. <laughs> well, you had it also too in Maryland because uh, Nikki brought some over in a taco dip. Oh yeah. She she disguised it, and we didn't know we were eating it. Yeah, it's like when mom puts spinach in our lasagna and doesn't tell. Beth anyone. says I've not had bacon once. Does that count? Uh, it's fine. Have you had beefalo? Beefalo? Beef Is that a cow? Have you and had a beefalo? I love venison jerky. Oh, me too. I love venison uh, summer sausage. Summer sausage is my favorite. Is that, I could eat a whole thing of summer sausage. Is that the one that comes in the paper in the plastic package? Yeah, it's the one you typically are like, no thanks. Well, yeah, I haven't had it a whole You lot. like brats though, don't you? Yeah, brats and Italian sausage are pretty good. Yeah, summer sausage is like a cold version of that. Okay. And it it's I it's good. It's better with peppercorn in it. I like summer sausage with peppercorn in it. I think that tastes really good. It's between it's a cross between buffalo and beef. Yes, I agree. Beef I've never had that. Beefalo. 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 It's it's fun to say, isn't it? Beefalo. 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 You know who it makes me feel? It makes me feel like we're talking about Mark Garuffalo. Beefalo. Did you call him Mark? Ruffalo. Gruff, Gruffalo? Isn't Ruffalo. That his, isn't that his name? There's no G. It's Ruffalo. Ruffalo? Ruffalo. Garuffalo? No. Ruffalo. 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 <laughs> the whole. Beefalo. No, it's just beefalo. Beefalo. Beefalo? The Hulk has nothing to do with this. This is it's separate, but they kind of got the L-O at the end. Hello. Hello. No, it's... Uh, we're Hello. losing them. We're losing them. They're, they're like, we got to get back on topic here. So, uh, favorite dishes? Uh, no, we weren't talking about that. We dishes that about... I've cooked. Yeah. And dishes that you won't eat unless we tweak them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. There's, I think we sausage already... in anything makes it better. Yeah, that's. If yeah. Dad didn't. Ha if Dad had a catchphrase, it'd be sausage makes everything better. Oh, you know what I like to eat? I like to eat broccoli uh, steamed. Remember, no mushy vegetables. No, mushy vegetables no, are no, uh -uh. no. They're a no go in the going batty clan. No, they're a no go. No mushy vegetables. But you take broccoli, you get it to that just, just, mm, mm, just before it pops. You know, before it, mm, it's so good. And then you add a big old log of uh, cooked uh, ground sausage, breakfast sausage, and you stir it up with the with the with the broccoli, and you have broccoli and sausage mixed together. And it's really good. So is that why it's we, part of the PBS? Yeah, PBS is good. That's like it's, it's a video. We have a video. Yeah, we on have it. a video on it. It's really good. My daughter can cook as long as it's a dessert. That's me. Yep. <laughs> yep. I have like a whole book of desserts back here that I'm just like, okay, time for desserts. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Miles, can you get me a paper towel, please? Um, the um, the uh, the broccoli and sausage is really good, son. They're right there, buddy. Okay. Okay. Napkin, paper towel, they're the same thing. Yeah. Nah. No. Not the same thing. Now, can I have a paper towel? Yes, sir. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> wow, the sun's really washing us out. This is why we put up the blind when we do our live stream in the I'm other nights. I'm sorry, I should have set that up. But it's Don't not blinding it. it's okay. me, so. That's all right. Thank you, sir. Well, it's, it's, um, 
Well, we've been going for a while. Thanks for taking us. If you guys are just joining us or you just kind of wondering what the heck, we're, we're doing a Monday night live stream because we wanted to spend more time with you. And uh, Heather can't be here because she's with the boys at Boy Scouts. And so Katie, Miles, and I are hanging out at home. And we wanted to do a little show for you because we had some small, easy projects. Katie, show them your shirt one more time. So she took this shirt and made it better. That was my phone. That was your phone. <laughs> um, and uh, again, a short shirt that she added some length to yep. and made it longer. So come on back down. Yep. Um, excuse me, I'm going to blow my nose. I, have, I also turned a pair of jeans of some old jeans that I had and turned it into a skirt. And that looks pretty cool, but I have to find a shirt that would go with Miles, it. Miles, we throw that away, Because I, I don't have, I, I don't have, I don't think I have one, but maybe I can make one. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Um, so yeah, this is kind of our life right now. This is, this is a Monday in our house and we're just hanging out. Mm -hmm. um, is there something you wanted to show them, Miles? No. Um, Come on over here so they can okay. see you. Awesome idea, Kate. I need to do that. I hate short shirts. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, Miles. I'm very pale. All right. Um, so, what do you what do you got to show us, bud? Um, I checked out a book. It is um a book that is originally from Harry Potter, but it is not a Harry Potter book. It is a book that is in Harry Potter. It's the Tales of Beetle, the Bard, and it has in it the stories are. The wizard and the hopping pot. We're not going to go through all of them right now. Okay? Goodbye. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> well, there's that. Guys. Yeah, that's one of the books he got at the library. So we'll see what that's all about. Yes. Um, the library has been very fun. It's been very good to us. Yes. So, yeah. Um, what else do we have? I think that's it. Guys, thanks for joining us. We're really glad you uh, showed up. We're really glad that we showed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you get a chance, please like, subscribe, comment. And the way this thing works, and it really works, is if you take our channel and you share it with some of your friends and tell them about it and ask them to subscribe. Um, that's when something really exciting happens. And so um, do us a favor, head on over to whatever social media you use and share it with some of your friends, ask them to subscribe. And then we're gonna shut off now because if you go to Two Family Homestead, they are interviewing Tara from Living on a Dime. So um, you're gonna wanna check out Two Family Homestead as soon as you click off of here. Also, if you uh, a lot of people have asked us about uh, cookbooks. When is Heather gonna make a cookbook, cookbook, cookbook? Well, actually, if you go to the Going Batty store, she already has a mini cookbook out. Um, it's, uh, on our, it's on our Going Batty page. You can, uh, it, there's a, it's a, it's, I think it's $8 or something like that. It's a PD, in PDF form and you can download some of Heather's favorite recipes. Just head on over to the Going Batty store and check out uh, the little cookbook that was. I don't know what the name of it is. It's uh, Heather's favorites or something like yeah. that. Um, and so yeah, it's right on there and you can just download it for eight bucks, nice and cheap. There's no muss. You can even read it on your iPhone. It's that simple. So mm -hmm. um, check out those. Uh, we do not have plans for a cookbook coming up. We will do probably another mini cookbook. Um, but uh, for now, those are some of the ones that we have. Um, yeah. Hi, Caitlin. How are you? Good to see you. Um, and uh, it is one of those things that... Uh, hi, Homesteading the Pioneer Way. One of those things that uh, we'll be putting piecing together. Yeah. Um, and we'll be do that. <laughs> we'll leave that on the Going Batty store as well. Mm -hmm. So check out that cookbook. You guys are going to like it. It's got a lot of our favorites in it. And if you need to see how they're done, they should have every recipe in that book. I keep forgetting this. Every recipe in that PDF uh, ebook uh, has the link to the YouTube video where we make it. So you can have the recipe and then you can click on over to YouTube and get the actual video of Heather making it. So they're great tools to use together and I would encourage you guys to um, check that out. Uh, Hi, Caitlin. Um, have a good night. Thanks so much for joining us. We're gonna call it a night because we've got some things to do before the, the boys and mom come home. Have a great night as always. More updates as we go. Bye guys.